In this video, we will look at solving mixture problems where we organize our information in a mixture table. A mixture table will be unique in that we get one extra row. If we take all of the solution and we multiply it by the part, whether that part is the amount of dollars it's worth or the percent it's worth, that will equal the amount of that in the final solution. As we do, the equation will always come from the last column that we'll use to solve and answer the question. Let's take a look at a problem where we have to use this mixture table to help us generate an equation. If we take all of it times the part, that will equal the final solution. We're told this store owner is mixing chocolate and nuts. We want to know how many pounds of chocolate that cost 850 per pound. That's our first solution. We don't know the amount, that's what we're looking for, but the price is 850 per pound. It's going to be mixed with 25 pounds of nuts that cost 250 per pound. The amount is now 25 pounds and the price is 250. And we're going to make a mixture, our final solution is worth 443, 433 per pound. That's the price on the final solution. To calculate the total amount, we simply need to add the amounts together, x plus 25. We can now calculate our finals by multiplying the amount times the part, giving us 8.5x, 25 times 2.5 is 62.5, and finally, when we distribute, multiplying the amount through, we get 4.33x plus 108.25. Again, if we combine the individual pieces together, that'll give us an equation equaling the total that we can solve. 8.5x plus 62.5 equals 4.33x plus 108.25. Moving the variable to the same side by subtracting 4.33x will give us 4.17x plus 62.5 equals 108.25. Subtracting 62.5 from both sides gives us 4.17x equals 45.75. Dividing both sides by 4.17, and we find out that x, the amount we need to add, is about 10.97 pounds. Let's try another example where we have to organize our information and solve the equation. In this problem, we need a 55% alcohol solution. Be careful here, even though that comes first, what we need, that is going to be our final solution at the end. We need 55%, 0.55 at the end. On hand, we have 600 milliliters, that's the amount, of 10%. As a decimal, that's 0.1. We also have 95%. 0.95, and we want to know how much of that 95% we need to add. That's our variable. The total amount, then, we get by adding the 600 plus x, and we can calculate our finals by multiplying 60.95x and 330 plus 0.55x. Again, our equation will come from the last column, 60 plus 0.95x equals 330 plus 0.55x. Get the variable on the same side by subtracting 0.55x, and we get 60 plus 0.4x equals 330. Subtract 60 from both sides, and we get 0.4x equals 270. Dividing both sides by 0.4, and the amount that we need to add is 675 milliliters.